zone. I've never seen anything like it, ever. I've never seen anything like that funnel. I've never seen devastation like this. I thought we were bad here. This is nothing. We're really blessed here on the hill compared to the people down there. I just hope everybody's okay down there. And it's amazing to say you feel like this is nothing because behind us here we see this church steeple toppled over, tons of trees down, homes damaged here, but... Worse down there. It's way worse down there. It's very, very devastating. Tell me what happens in the next hours, the next days. How does this town pull together? Uh, well, there's going to be a, a prayer service for everybody, of, no matter what denomination they are, here at the church, outside the church here at 4 o'clock, if anybody wants to come. Um, well, it's going to be probably hard. Nobody has power in town. They knocked all the power out because the lines are on the ground everywhere. So they said we didn't have any power when it came already had been out and there's not going to be any for days they say so and obviously we're gonna have to move on out no power so and you have a bit of cleanup yourself to do uh, not too bad in our house so i mean it's just outside in the yard and stuff so we got there's a lot of tree limbs and stuff Sherry, thanks a lot for joining us. Appreciate it. It was nice to meet you. Uh, Sherry is one of so many people in this town uh, now waking up as the sun rises here, looking at all the damage. Uh, we showed you the damage to the church steeple here. This is actually one of two steeples in town that this tornado completely tore off. As you heard Sherry mention, a prayer service here today, the town waking up. Many people here have not slept throughout the night. The chainsaws have been going. They've been trying to clear roads, but many roads still closed here this morning. All right, John Atwater, Sherry's got a great attitude, and I know a lot of folks are going to be neighbor helping neighbor today. Power, by the way, from the Mass Massachusetts Emergency Management Agency, that is a top priority, obviously, in, in terms of clearing debris and everything. Restoring power is top on the list. And we want to take you back to Springfield now because one of the areas hard hit was actually the downtown area. Mary Saladna has been there, boots on the ground for us this morning. Mary, it's pretty extraordinary, the damage to, to a town area like that. Right, and it's a, a whole big swath of Main Street, Heather. Three to four blocks really will have to be raised. You're looking now at some cleanup that's happening on a side street here, right off of Main Street. And remember, we have a lot of buildings like this. They're missing the whole top floor. Now, we did talk to one man who lived not on this side of the building, but in an apartment on the top floor, just on the other side, the front apartment there. And it, he gives his you know, experience when the tornado came through and ripped the roof right off the building. I decided to go into a walk-in closet where I took shelter and I closed the door and all I heard was um, wind, windows, um, like glass going everywhere. The water started trickling down, down the, the, the light bulb. Right. It started going down the light bulb. Right. And um, how do you say? It was and I scary. Just, I was, it was scary. And after I, I felt it more calm, I opened the door and all I see was the sky. So the roof was gone from the, the building? The roof was gone. So you're looking now live at Main Street. You see firefighters down there. You see uh, that's a fire truck or a power truck. We have a lot of cleanup now commencing here in an area that's been off limits to everybody. And now, um, you know, we have a, a, just a real show of uh, manpower. I'm, I'm told the National Guard crews are beginning to make the corner up there on Main Street. We'll take a walk down there and show you that shortly. But uh, definitely we're seeing some signs of life here in a very hard hit area of the city. It had been cordoned off to all foot traffic for safety reasons up until now. Heather and Bianca, back to you. And Mary, we've seen the damage from the downtown area. Have they been able to tell you, officials there, whether or not they've been able to positively confirm that there's no one trapped in any of those buildings? They've already done, I think, searches and have gone, you know, building to building and, uh, like I said, pretty much made sure this area was clear. And then as people came through here all night, you know, stopped people and said, don't go back in there. No one's going inside any of these buildings. They're not safe. And not that is the temptation. Safe. People want to see what and has happened. Obviously right. assess the damage if this is their business and their, you know, source of income there. But again, it's just not safe right now. And uh, we also have been um, getting some photos from people who have seen some of the damage. We want to share them with you on you Local. This is Springfield College. Windows there blown out and a close up shot there. You can see they are just completely gone. If you have um, some more dramatic video, some images that you are seeing in your community and it's safe to do it, get out more pictures. Upload them to the you Local section on the Boston Channel. We have a slideshow of the damage we're seeing right on the front page of our website. Just incredible images and so much cleanup ahead today. 
and local middle school students unbelievable what they witnessed just they were coming face to face with terror of the tornado they were coming back from a field trip from Six Flags yesterday afternoon when their bus encountered the tornado. There were six buses, kids from Hanover, and you can see this video. We'll share that with you coming up and, and hear their sounds there. But fortunately, again, they are all doing okay. Much more coverage on the deadly tornadoes for you. It is now 740 on this extended edition of the eye opener. Four people confirmed dead. We are under a state of emergency here in Massachusetts. It's a joke.